Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Viola Party Heaven and it's unbelievable. We just got a few days left in 2020. I'd like to say a big thank you to every one of you that has watched me and kept my channel going this year. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So today we are creating a treat box. Um, I found out that this treat box is kind of like pop popular right now. Um, and for me personally, I think it's a great gift idea instead of just giving balloons. Um, so if you're looking into getting into like the gift um, section of balloon cre uh, creation, this is a great tutorial for you. Um, so what you need is you need a box. So you could either use because I've used a hat, I've used a hat box for this before, and I've uh, this time I'm using a wooden. Um, mdf bo um, box you can find the link to buying the box on ebay in my description box um click on it and you'll be able to buy one i don't know if they would ship to anywhere outside the uk but just search for mdf box or gift wooden box or um, um wooden toy box or something on google and i think it would bring it out another thing i'll do is i'll put it in my amazon store for those who prefer to buy from amazon um so here first i am personal so some clients would want you to you know personalize it for whoever they're giving it to and some will just you know want it plain so is it that you have a cricut or a silhouette machine to do your personalization or you could get a friend that has it or you could go on eBay to get, you know, to buy from someone that sells um, personalized stickers and all of that. And you're good to go. But these boxes are such a great form of gift. And I'll suggest you get into it and start offering it to people. If you're not in a, um, in a balloon business, if you're just watching my channel so you could create something for your family or friend. This is a great gift idea, basically. So get on it. So right now I'm just adding the name to the foil balloon and that is ready. Next I would glue my um, balloon cup to the base of the box. Um, so this cup I'll be putting the link of how you could get it in the description too. It's a premium stick um, cup. Great for gift boxes, great for uh, mini hot air balloons. So what i did was i glued the cup to it, it's not actually a, it's not a cup i think it's a base sorry it isn't a, a, a cup it's a base for premium balloon sticks i'll put the link of where you could get that in the description it's quite strong and all so it's great for when you want to do hot air balloon or gift boxes like this or centerpieces i mainly used to use it for centerpieces so right now I am just um, putting on the ribbon around the box. I'm using a blue and white ribbon because that's the color of scheme I'm working with. And then I make a bow. I'm not so good at making bows, but I tend to make them myself because I find out that um, getting ready-made bows can be quite expensive. And I remember tying my shoelaces when I was young, so it's not a problem for me now. Anyway, um, I've just tried to do the bow as best as I can and I think it looks good enough to sell to a client as you can see. So you could just practice making one. There are loads of videos of how to make bows. So next I put in my stick into the base and then I get styrofoam and I put it in the base of the box. The styrofoam is going to be what I'll be using to stick in my treats. This would help my treats stay upright. Um, so that means I don't need anything at the base to hold the sticks and treats I put in the box. So right now I am cutting up my tissue paper sheet. This is what I'm going to be using to add like extra accents to the box at the end of the design. So you cut it up into pieces. If you're going to be using two different colors, just cut it up into like cubes like the way I've done in this video and set them aside. You'll be seeing how I'm going to be using this at the end of the video.
once you've cut this up just put it aside and next i would inflate mini five inches balloons this i'm going to be using in the base of the box this will be like my attachment point for my other balloons now you do not have to do this mini balloons but i wanted to try this technique and see if it's gonna make any difference to my creation so inflate them into many pieces then you break them into two like i do in most of my videos that has to do with bouquets meanwhile guys i don't know what this design is called but i would i think most people call it a treat bouquet or a, 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 a gift box once you break it into two you make the clusters into a set of quads and then you arrange this on a 260 cube Place the clusters into the box around the stick. This should stay in place without any hassle. If you're struggling to keep it in place, you could use U glue dash to glue it to the box. Another reason why I had to do the clusters was because my styrofoam was not big enough. Um, it didn't cover the whole bottom of the box. So that was why I did that. So next, I glue my number together. That is a number 12. And then I found out that the stick was too long for me to play, put in place. So I cut it in half so that it's not too high from other balloons. Next, I check where I'm gonna be placing my number. You check where you're gonna place it. Um, and then you put it aside, apply your U glue dash, and then you stick it on. So here I'm going to be sticking the U glue dash on the balloons in the box and on the stick. So it's then I also stick it to the big balloon on top, the balloon that has the happy birthday. This helps to keep everything in place. For the number 12, I spray painted with Rust Oleum Navy Blue Gloss Paint because I wanted the number to match every balloon I was using for this design. Next, I glue the star to the big balloon and everything stays in place. Once all my balloons are in place, I get my treats and I start putting them into the box so with the treats what I have done is I put a mini stick on them and then I taped it to the treats so this will help keep everything in the box So placing the treats, you have to be strategic in placing it because you don't want anything to be too covered and you don't want anything um, to not stand in place. Now the bag sweets I did not have to like tape to a, a stick because the, obviously they would stand upright. If they were not, you know, standing upright, I could easily you glue that shit to where I want to place it. Now 
you can see this box is a pretty full box i struggled with where to place stuff but i didn't want to not use all the treats that the clients requested from me so i had to stick everything where possible also i made some mini balloons to cover my mechanics Once I've done every one of that, I get my tissue paper and I stick it into the bouquet with my stick. If you can see, I am folding the paper over the stick. So this would help it maintain a shape of a design. You could also put hot melt glue at the tip of the tissue paper if you're worried that it would not stay in place. Once you've done all of that, your gift box is ready or your client so in case you have any of the treats moving or you think okay this is not placed in the right place you could easily use U glue dash to keep it in place so guys thank you for watching my video thank you for joining me today please remember to subscribe to my channel like this video think tell me what you think in the comment section and i'll see you same time next week on another tutorial enjoy the rest of your day guys thank you bye